Uh, we continue to hear tributes following the tragic passing of the minister in the presidency, Jackson Mtembo. Many have remembered him not just as a family man, but also as an admired and respected public servant, while he's also being remembered here as a great man who loved his uh, family as well as his children. Uh, let's uh, move now to uh, Mpumalanga, where ANC Treasurer Paul Mashatile and Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duarte have also arrived at the home of the late Jackson Mtembo in Emalasleni, the Sawa. We cross live to our reporter Malunge Loboy. Malu, we have seen a number of people arrive at the family home, including members of the ANC's top six. Talk us through what's happening there now. That, that's right, in Lantla. In fact, over the past five minutes or so, we saw Jesse Duarte as well as Paul Mashatile arriving at the home of the late Minister Jackson Mtembu, obviously to here to pay their last respects to a man who many people in this particular community have described him as a formidable leader and also a principal leader. Now, both Paul Mashatile and Jesse Duarte are inside the home and also some some of the people that I hear are the ANC officials in 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 in, in Bumalang, but also earlier in Tlantla, we saw some of the uh, you know former prisoners, some of them who were actually in prison with the late Minister Jackson Mtembo, also coming here to the home to pay their last respects to the man. And one of those is in Paul Masemula. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, the, the 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 loss is. Deep. It's not only being felt here in, in Amalathlein, it's also being felt uh, nationwide. At some point you were in prison with Ubabum Tembo. Tell me where and when. Yes, uh, firstly I would like to, my heartfelt actually, to send my heartfelt condolences to the family of uh, um, Tembo, uh, comrades, his friends and uh, the African National Congress. Yes, of course, indeed. Um, I remember it was in 1985 um, when, you know, we, during the formation of COSAS here at, in Malasheni, yeah. uh, just around the corner, there is a hall there. Comrade Jackson was among the core leaders that were working underground to form COSAS in 1985 before it was banned uh, on the le on the 11th the of yeah. yes of uh, uh, august uh, 1985 uh, comrade uh, the late jeremy tula comrade sam mkabela uh, and uh, comrade johnson mashangu uh, these were the comrade pet mashiani and the late comrade peter mnesi this core that i'm talking about uh, were very much, you know, prominent of mobilizing the youth uh, in 1985. Uh, subsequently, after the formation of COSAS, the very same hall that the, uh, Jackson's house is next to, it was bombed by the mercenaries, uh, the counter-revolutionary elements, and the security branch. And then subsequently, after that, we went underground. And you know, when we, we, you work underground, Everybody is suspicious to you. So we were subsequently arrested uh, uh, at the house just nearby. It was a safe house used by some of us as uh, a hiding place yeah. uh, for underground operations of MK. And uh, when we were in prison, we were charged with the notorious Section 29 of the Security Act. And then Jackson Mtembo came in, was also arrested, and he was charged under the notorious Section 29 of the Internal Security Act. Um, we were at the sea camp, uh, solitary confinement, and uh, Jackson was also at the old drunk, solitary confinement. Uh, as the time goes on, after three months, we nicknamed him Prof. Okay, that's interesting. Yes, many people, they don't know the name of Comrade Prof. Actually, it is not Prof as a professor or academia. Uh, he was um profita. Because oh, it, as a prophet. As a prophet. Okay, okay. Because in prison, we had uh, uh, two ideological elements. 
those who believe in Marxism, Leninism uh, uh, teachings led by Comrade Sam Kabel, and those who believe in the philosophy of Plato, Aristotle, uh, in a form of idealism. Okay. And that section was led by Comrade Jackson. So it was quite interesting in prison because we, uh, you know, engage ourselves politically. And these two, Comrade Jackson likes to prophesy to say, we will be released after six months. And the same Kabela say, no, it is unscientific, we won't be released. Okay. So his prophecy some, sometimes... Uh, did it, they ac actually come true? No, it, was, it did not come true. So idealism uh, contradicts uh, materialism, that is dialectical materialism, you see. Uh, those who are scholars of dialectical materialism, who schooled those things at Robben Island, like some of us. What does his passing mean to you personally? You know, uh, we lost something, somebody, uh, you know, who was ethical. Uh, you know, he was an embodiment to the youth and the community that we are staying at. Actually, I am staying just down there. Yeah, I grew up the there, street, yeah. in the same street there. So normally I used to come here and salute, hey, comrade prof, uh, what's up? And then we engage politically there and there, you see. But uh, I would like now to say to the youth, uh, they should embody somebody like Comrade Jackson. Uh, selflessness, uh, all, all, always ever, you know, smiling. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, he speaks, he's, he's the man of his word. Yeah. When Jackson says, nigh position, Bob, then that's all. But some people are saying that he never compromised his values, what he believed in. Especially on his uh, uh, anti-corruption stance within the organization. We have seen, uh, he has spoken a lot about anti-corruption, about corruption within the ANC and uh, corruption at large. And uh, especially members of the ANC uh, who are involved in corrupt activities. Jackson Mtembo was vocal about that. What is it then that you think all of us can learn from the late Minister Jackson Mtembo? Yes, well, he said he played his role, uh, he ran his, his race. Uh, it is now through us to take in our, upon ourselves that uh, as a leader you should humble yourself. As a leader you should be an exemplar. And uh, it tells us a lot that uh, ethics within the ANC leadership yeah. is very much paramount. Yeah especially those that were found wanting in the ANC. Uh, those that are involved in the issues of corruption, they should embody Jackson Mtembo and look at him as a leader and as an ethical leader. Because in the ANC, consciously, you are being guided through the values of ethical leadership. Thank you so much, Mpo. That's Mpo Masemola. He's a, he's a Secretary General of the ex robben Island Prisoners Association. And of course, sort of like taking us back to the times when Oku Jackson Mtembu, in fact, was young and when he started his political career as well. I do want us to just come and see here a little bit and see if... Um, you can see some of the people have been coming to lay flowers here at the house of uh, the minister, uh, Jackson Mtembo. I mean, it's been so interesting hearing people talk about the late minister. Most of them really have one thing in common in what they've been saying about him, that he was extremely a principled person. He stood up for what he believed in, and which is... And as, as you've heard Mr. Uh, Masemula saying that, you know, one of the things that everyone can learn is to, to be selfless as well, because they're saying that that's what um, Mr. Jackson Mtembo was. And of course, as of today, we know that the country's flags are currently flying at, at half-mast as we mourn and remember the late minister in the presidency, Minister Jackson Mtembo. I must point out then in Atlanta that the, the, the ANC 
some of the ANC leaders are actually still inside interacting with the family of the late minister and we have been told that as soon as they are done they will then come and interact with us as journalists. So Malungelo, before I let you go, we do know that uh, Ubabu Jackson Tem was an advocate uh, for uh, the wearing of masks, uh, for observing um, these uh, safety protocols as we are still in the midst of a pandemic. And unfortunately, he succumbed to the coronavirus or complications uh, from the coronavirus. Uh, let's speak about adherence to safety regulations, uh, sanitization, as well as the wearing of masks at uh, the, the event that you are at right now. That's right. In fact, that's one of the things that we're constantly being reminded of, that we need to maintain our social distancing and not take off our mask at all. So here's what happens. Those officials that are coming here to the Jackson Temple's family home, what they'll do is that they are screened here. You can see that uh, there's nurses uh, that are here that are actually screening taking people's temperatures and also sanitizing um, them to make sure that you know we we, we adhere to those um, um, safety protocols but I, do, I have to say earlier on I was in, in conversation with one of the elderly women in this community and I mean she was saying to me um, the, the loss really uh, the, the passing of, of Jackson Mtembu is really heartbreaking is a loss to them because to, to them as this particular community because this is the person that they pride themselves with and also saying that he Jackson Mtembu was 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 very principled but also cried was decrying the fact that Mr Mtembu died at the age of 62 and saying that he was actually very very young and unfortunately as news came in on Thursday that he had succumbed to COVID-19 complications. Well, thanks there to our reporter Malungelo Boy, who's out at Emma Lasleni at the home of the late minister and the presidency, Jackson Mtembo. Of course, he'll continue to keep a close watch on those proceedings as members of the ANC's top six, including Jesse Duarte and Paul Mashatile, are at the family home to send their condolences to the family.